I hope you're doing good today. In this video, we are going to make a beautiful bouquet together. I am going to share some very easy tips and techniques that can be helpful. What you need are the flowers you want to use. I'm going to use this one that I bought earlier today. A sharp and a good flower knife, a thread, and a vase that you prefer. Just remember that the vase that you choose will also decide the length the bouquet is going to have. First, I carefully open the packages and pull every branch from each other. Very often the branches are stuck together so be careful when you pull them so they don't break. I start with Lepidium which is a very easy flower to work with. It creates amazing volume and has a beautiful green color that reminds me of summer. I find it very effectively to drive my fingers through to separate the small branches from each other. I always go through each branch to see if something is bad, broken or ugly. It is also important that you take off every leaf on the bottom that might get into the water when you put the bouquet in the vase. You might ask why. The reason is that leaf in the water create a lot of bacteria which easily pollute the water and makes the flower last shorter. While I'm working with Lepidium, I would love to introduce myself. I have worked with flowers since I was 16 years old and now I'm 26 years. I started at a cozy small private flower shop in Sunfjord, which is the town where I'm born and raised. Two years later, I started to work for the biggest flower chain in Norway called Messegrøn. Later, when I moved to Oslo to study, I started to work at the smallest Messegrøn store in square meters, with the one that gave the company the most revenue. Working with flowers have always been a creative and fun hobby and something that I do besides school. Next up is Protea. Protea is also a very easy flower to work with. And I usually go for this one when I want something different and unique. Even though I'm just going to have two stills in my bouquet, it still takes a lot of attention and focus. Lysanthus is a very classic flower. It creates a lot of volume and it's a good choice if you want to fill the space with green and white. It is very typical to have Lysanthus with, for instance, roses. It has a very thin and crispy branch and usually it has multiple stilts in one branch that makes the flower head very heavy. You should be careful when you work with it. We have this beautiful blue delphinium. I got so happy when I saw them at the store because normally I find it very difficult to find this kind of blue color in flowers. Delphinium has also a very thin branch, but it's more flexible and easy to work with compared to Lysanthus. The only thing is it has a lot of flowers on one branch, so they easily get stuck into each other. It took me some time to separate them, but be patient and enjoy the moment.
trouble, you best beware. And go deep down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No. Thank you. 